In the American West, one of the many glories of nature are the fisheries, those mountain streams that are home to a variety of trout and other species of freshwater fish. They're also a precious barometer of the health of the environment, and as NBC's Tom Costello reports tonight, there is very unsettling evidence of something terribly wrong. In Colorado's rivers and streams, a waist-deep ritual of the season. He was down on the bottom. Using electric currents to stun native fish to the surface where they're measured and checked. But it's what they discovered in the white sucker fish that's got even veteran scientists concerned. I've done a lot of studies throughout my career, which extended back to 1973. This is the very first time that what I found scared me. This fish has characteristics of both males and females. And scientists have found lots of them in three Colorado rivers, all of them downstream from sewage treatment plants. In the Boulder Creek, female white suckers outnumbered males five to one. And 50% of the males also had female sex tissue. The cause? Researchers say there's too much estrogen in the water, the natural female hormone that is found in every sewer system. But in addition, certain chemical compounds and detergents and soaps can mimic estrogen. Barbara Biggs of Denver's largest sewage plant says most of the nation's wastewater plants simply can't remove all the estrogen in the water. We're concerned about the effect on the aquatic life, but we're also concerned about our ability to actually treat for these estrogens and estrogen mimickers. Estrogen mimickers are believed to be caused by chemicals called nonophenols, found in everything from paints and rubber to cosmetics and plastics. Considered a possible cause of kidney, eye, liver, and reproductive problems, they've been banned in much of Europe and are under review in Canada. But still common here and flowing out of sewage plants and into America's rivers. Government researchers recently found natural estrogens and estrogen mimickers in 80% of the streams they tested in 30 states. We would be ingesting these chemicals, would absorb them, and uh, they would add to whatever natural hormones we already have in the body. The impact on humans? No one is certain. But since finding evidence that estrogen may be turning male fish into female fish, scientists are now looking at what it means for the nation's drinking water. In a state that prides itself on living in harmony with nature, evidence, say researchers, of a hormonal imbalance. Tom Costello, NBC News, Boulder, Colorado.